all my beautiful friends, this is Bibi here again and today I'm so excited to show you how I got these skirts and you would be really amazed when I'll tell you what I've actually used to get them and I'm absolutely in love with this method. I've tried this for the first time but I think they're amazing and I'm, this is going to be one of my favorite methods to get these heatless skirts. So yeah, first let me show you the whole look, how they look. Alright guys, I hope you really like this thing and um, if you really do, do not forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and share with your friends and I hope you guys really love it the way I do. So yeah, let's get started. Alright guys, so yeah, let's get started. So first thing that you would need to do is brush your hair. Okay, just do that quickly. It. and now you'll have to divide your hair into parts you can please use a, a rat tail comb for this for sectioning your hair every time I like to use my fingers all right now we'll do one section at uh, you know we'll do one per section post so we'll get rid of the other section will tie it like this and now we'll take very small section from here this much it's a, and tie the rest of the hair All right. Now what we'll do is uh, to get the best curls, you'll have to damp your hair. So my hair are uh, completely dry right now. What I'll do is I'll just dampen them to make sure they're like 20, 30 percent damp, but not soaking wet, because in that case you won't get curls ever. Okay. Just okay. So now what I'll do is I'll take a straw. Okay, and I'll start wrapping my hair around it tightly. Once you are done with the ends, go back and roll it towards your scalp, okay? Once you reach your scalp, take the ends and tie them. Okay, this looks really funny, but to get the best results, you have to do it. What to make it more secure? What you can do is, you take a rubber band like this, and just do like this. That's it. It'll secure it. Okay. So yeah, let's take another section. Damp your hair 
Make sure you're damping your ends of the hair as well nicely, okay? Take another straw and start rolling it. Okay, so make sure your index finger is um, locking this uh, this thing. It's actually between your hair and the straw end. So once you reach your ends, I doubt that this was this will stay. This one will stay, so I'll use uh, when for sure. Okay. All right. So I'll continue doing this until. I'm, I, I basically tie all my hair with straws. Okay. So one more time, guys. Initially, when you do this, you'll face some issues tying your straws and everything, if you're, especially if you have long hair like me. But try to do it a couple of times and you'll get a hold of it. And yes, these tiny rubber bands are going to be of your rescue every single time. Okay, guys, so I'm done. Um, I have used around seven, um, seven straws here and like eight straws here. And um, this is how I look. And it took me around 30 minutes to do this uh, on my complete head. And that's because I have really long hair. If you have shorter hair, it will take you uh, less time. And for almost every strand I have, actually used a rubber band to you know to get a better hold of it. Uh, it might be difficult at times uh, initially for you to tie the straws, use rubber bands or bobby pins, whatever you're comfortable with. I'm more comfortable with rubber bands. And uh, yeah, one more thing. Uh, if you have short hair, try not to do it very close to your scalp because uh, the curls will be, you know, very tight and very close to your head and that might not look good initially 
so and you if even if you want to do like you get want to get really tight curls and close to your scalp so do that but you should be prepared uh to you should you should be open ideally opening those hair um those curls four to five hours before you're going anywhere because you would want your hair to you know calm down come down and uh, loosen up and look more natural so yeah that's it um uh, i'll keep these for at least five to six hours um ideally i would sleep on this put on a scarf and sleep on this but because it's daytime i'm not going to sleep so i'll just uh, either i'll just read a book right now and show you the results in a couple of hours i'll let you know how many hours i kept these on and yeah see you guys later bye bye all right guys i'm back and uh, now i'm going to open these curls and show you how they look finally Right, so this is my first curl. Okay, let's open up this as well. You see how tight they are. Alright, guys. So I'll open all of them and then give it back to you and show you the results. Alright, guys. So I look really funny. Um, I've opened all the curls. Okay. So see, have a look. So right now I've just kept them for like five hours hardly. So if you keep them overnight, the result will be even better. So now what I'll do is, okay. So remember, you're not going to use any brush or comb now. Only your fingers, okay? That's it. So I'm just going to run my fingers through them now, one by one, and open them. All the same. It's funny. Okay. Now once we are done with this, the next step is to take all your hair. Okay, wait for it. Side down and do this. Alright. This is just to merge all your hair with the rest of them. My god, they're crazy. I just love them now. Let me turn. 